welcome to Blue, the Belt Show. I think it's been a minute since we had Ariane Celeste on, but nonetheless... It's been a lot of minutes. <laughs> it's been a lot of minutes, but nonetheless, the amazing, the gorgeous, my entrepreneur, octagon girl extraordinaire, and model, supermodel extraordinaire, and social media influencer, the one and only Ariane Celeste. We are so happy to have you back on BTV. Thank you so much for having me. Do you recall our, your first time with us? Um, I think it was close to 2010. Oh not, not too far into your UFC career. Yeah, that was a, that, yeah. I, I have a really bad memory, plus I have like pregnancy brain right now, so I don't, <laughs> don't remember it. <laughs> but thank you for having me back. By the way, congratulations on your upcoming. Uh... Thank you so much. Yeah. When are you doing? Hey, hey, Al, incidentally, you know, you know, uh, a pregnancy is the best birth control. <laughs> <That's true>. Yeah, <laughs> um, I definitely was surprised about this pregnancy. Uh, I, I w- we had this whole plan that we were gonna like travel the world and do all these great things this year, and mm-hmm. um, COVID hit, and I was already pregnant before then, so I was like, oh, okay. 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 It actually turned out to be the best time to be pregnant because, first of all, like, I can just rest and do nothing. Yeah. I, and then, second of all, like, my friends, they can't even go out either, so I don't have FOMO. Right. It's, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's the best. Um, is, yeah. But so. you kind of announced it last week and made it um, uh, the big announcement for the public last week, even though you had been pregnant yeah. for a while, obviously. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of wait for my baby bump to kind of start popping and yeah. um, other things. So, so it did. It just started popping, and I'm actually in my third trimester already. So it's going. It's gone by so fast, and I'm due September 28th. Awesome! So, oh wow. man, that's yes. tough, tough. nice, nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you revealed this on on TMZ, you did not know the gender of your baby. Is that still the case? Are you still waiting? You want to be surprised, or you're not telling? Um, your fans just yet, yeah. but um, I, I just want it to be a surprise till yeah, till, till I till my sister knows, so we're waiting yeah. to do it in, in some special way, you know, like the girls that are you do doing it. a like a gender reveal, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. That, so. yeah, I think it's gonna be a boy, yeah. yeah, oh, really, you're already <laughs> predicting Chachi, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Doing it like a Zoom call, so uh, with all the family and stuff. So oh, that's great. Oh, that'll be cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, so you actually revealed that you will not be making, which makes sense, UFC 251, which I do want to talk about in a little bit. But um, but it makes sense. makes sense that uh, I don't know how Dana White would feel if you had the baby bump holding the ring card off. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm all about it. Go for it. If you want to do it, I say go for it. But, yeah. <laughs> about that but i i I was scheduled for i want to say like six or seven events right before covid and covid hit and everything changed and you know dana even dana was like you know just to be super safe we're not gonna send you out to florida or any of the other shows so yeah um, yeah it kind of sucks because i didn't get to work and i just miss it i miss being around my ufc family and obviously making money so but yeah it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I guess we can talk about UFC uh, 251. So this is crazy. So they're doing, um, due to the pandemic, they're doing, um, they're doing it in Abu Dhabi uh, on a, a private island with a 10 mile safety zone. Whoa. So uh, this will ensure that's that. Not the, that's not the uh, Jeffrey Epstein island, is it? No, very different <laughs> island. <laughs> that's um, some bad vibes on that island. Yeah, uh, but uh, we'll be seeing nothing but fights going down on this island, <laughs> luckily. Um, but um, how do you? What do you think about this? So obviously, there's not going to be fans in attendance watching. I didn't think that was the case for the last UFC event. Um, do you feel this is really the only way UFC can present a show for the fans? I think it's amazing. Um, I think Dana White's a man for getting this done. Um, we're literally the only sports that are playing right now. So I think that it, we're, we're doing humanity a little favor. You know, we need something. To yes. Um, so, yeah, I, I love the idea. I think it's amazing. It's so cool that, that I work for a company that did that, is doing that. So 
um, yeah, hopefully everyone stays safe. It looks like from everybody's stories, like they're taking super, super precautious everything. So that that's cool to see. Um, yeah. Yeah, but it's like the, the fights are probably going to be set up kind of like the Ultimate Fighter reality show where it's just the octagon and the fighters and the coaches. Right. Yeah, exactly. So it's still going to be entertaining. Yeah. yeah. I mean, UFC so, fans are used to that. Similar to what uh, WWE was doing um, early on because at, at one point WWE was the only sports or sports entertainment that was going on, but now UFC is happening. So I'm excited about that, but uh, – yeah, I'm reading that uh, Gilbert Burns uh, tested positive for COVID-19, so they had to switch uh, out the main event. And now Kamaru Usman will now be defending against Jorge Masvidal um, instead of uh, Gilbert Burns. Um, but that should still be a phenomenal fight nonetheless. Um, Jorge is um, a veteran in UFC, and Kamaru is just a beast. It's 17 and one. Um, you have a prediction on this one, Ariane? I'm not really sure. I just know that, that, that the guys are hungry because we have been kind of, you know, slow and under the radar. So I, I, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I bet it's going to be a good fight. That, that has all, all the implications of a phenomenal fight. But I'm really um, excited about the, the much anticipated rematch of Alexander. Volkanovsky and uh, Max Holloway, they're uh, uh, taking another, um, uh, I can't wait for this one, um, Matt, pretty much almost identical fight records, um, but this will be the, um, the Federate title um, defended, um, and we even have a third title uh, fight in the Bantamweight title as Petra Yan takes on Jose Aldo, so uh, any thoughts on these, uh, those two fights? I just know it's going to be... Those names are just amazing. Like it's going to be an amazing night of fights. So looking awesome. forward to it. But one thing that I thought was amazing since your journey from UFC um, to see uh, women fighters take the forefront, and we have two great women's uh, matches on, on this card as Jessica Andrade takes on Rosa Namajunas, and. Um, Amanda Rebus uh, takes on my one of my favorites, Paige Van Sant. Um, I think it's awesome how women are taking the forefront in UFC. And I remember early in the UFC, I guess around the time you started, there was no women's fights at all. Ten so, years ago, now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now they're doing great. They're taking over. They're some of the best fights in in the year. I I remember watching the. I can't remember her name right now, but. I know the the little ones, the the Asian, and then we have. Um, uh, That's right. She's the current. I, um, I can't yeah. uh, pronounce their names, but it was an amazing fight. It was right before COVID hit. We were in Vegas. You guys know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. It escapes me right now too. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, just saying, it was. One of the best fights I've ever seen. She had the, bi the big lump in her head after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I remember that fight. I can't remember the names of the fighters either. My mind was so blown at that fight. It was one of the best fights I've ever seen. So. Yeah. I remember that fight with uh, Rosa Namajunas where she was literally dropped on her head. And I thought that she was severely injured. I don't know if you caught that, but I just caught highlights of that one fight. And uh, glad that she's okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's going to be a great, great fight with Rosa uh, Namajunas and Jessica Andrade. And, of course, I love Paige Van Sant. Um, she's just amazing. So um, we'll have to uh, – yeah, I'm just really excited to see that. But um, um, I, I was just curious. I mean, I know this is a little bit of older news, Ariane, but uh, – Ronda Rousey wasn't too keen on the Octagon Girls, reportedly. Yeah, she wasn't. Um, mm. No hard feelings, I mean, to each their own. <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. I guess I was feeling. I mean, I, I get punched in the face for a living, and we don't. So. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Supposedly, she thought that the fighters weren't paid enough, and the ring card girls were paid too much, or whatever, and. Uh, how does she even know what the ring card girls make? All the ring card girls make different amount of money, so it's yeah. just depends, yeah. on, depends yeah. on different things. So, you know, everyone assumes everything. So I just, you know, if you don't know facts, then it just makes you look stupid if you assume things. In my opinion. 
Ari, yeah. I, I actually had a quick question. I go back to, and I think about one of the fights that always kind of stays with me as like one of my favorite fights of all time. And for me, that's the Forrest Griffin, Stefan Bonner fight from uh, Ultimate Fighter 1. Yeah. Wow, Being, you go way back. Of, oh, I go way back. Being that you were part of that world, is there a fight that just kind of you were there to witness that was one that just st stood out as one of your favorites or whatever, anything like that? Actually, definitely that one, of course. Um, it's, it's like one then, of the best fights of all time. And how could you forget when Anderson Silva's like leg practically? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So brutal. I actually heard it. So was that, against the, was that against the Iceman? Chuck Liddell? I can't remember who was fighting for that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I remember that. Oh my god, that was crazy. Yeah, there's been some crazy fights, man. It's the best. Mm -hmm. I love watching. And then, do you do any MMA yourself? Um, I actually was doing Muay Thai kickboxing for a little bit. Um, I have not found anything out here in LA that I like. It was in Orange County, so mm -hmm. I just do boxing. I love boxing. It's a great workout. Cool, cool. Have you ever thought about working with the Gracies or anything like that? They're in uh, like Redondo or Long Beach or something. Yeah, I tried um, jujitsu. I'm just not a, a real big fan of it. Makes sense. That makes sense. It's not like, for everybody. Just, like, <laughs> Did you have the, the uh, really and, like sweat? It's just not my thing. <laughs> I dig well, it, especially in the COVID era. Yeah, oh, sweat. especially in the COVID area. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably not. <laughs> That's now for, is not like, the WWE best time to be practicing your jujitsu. No. No. I'm good on <laughs> Cool. Uh, You'd rather uh, try it out for WWE or something like that? Nah. WWE? <laughs> WWE, maybe, because I used to be a gymnast. I feel like I would be able to keep up with all their moves. Um, gymnast, cheerleader, and I'm pretty athletic. So maybe. I'm not that good of an actress, I don't think. So, I mean. <laughs> Neither are they, really. So. No, I know a lot of them. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, you've seen a lot of uh, the fighters uh, transition uh, to uh, from UFC, MMA to uh, WWE, like Matt Riddle, Ronda Rousey. Um, what do you have? You seen any of their WWE stuff? What are your thoughts? No, I don't watch that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's very complete. Plus, like, plus, like, I can imagine you not want to tune in to Ronda after what she said. I wouldn't support her either. <laughs> Maybe well, tell us for the tell us rock when back in the day when he was doing it, maybe for him. Because <laughs> I go. love. Him. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love Dwayne Johnson, The Rock? Yeah, he's the best. Unbelievable! Wow. So let's talk about some other stuff you got going on, Ariani. So, um, so this will uh, come in handy for an anniversary, a birthday, um, the upcoming holidays is. Um, your subscription gifting service called the Girlfriend Box. And Chach, you got excited. You thought it was like a sex toy first, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I was okay. Excited. But, but yeah, it, it's... I have it right here. It's under my computer. It's the Girlfriend oh, no. Box. No, you were getting confused. You got confused with me. I got excited. You got excited. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Too. Okay. Maybe but... in the future, we'll do like a specialty box. Um, but this one is just, it's all jewelry. So it's personalized jewelry. You go in you say my girlfriend is boho classic or edgy and the our program we automatically show you like what kind of jewelry she can get you can pick it out you can pick out the date say your anniversary is in january you set your date in january her birthday it has valentine's day christmas whatever other dates you want and it's automatic so you you never forget an important date oh cool yeah yeah I love it. So it, it uses, now, so it uses like they, a recommend. Hey, okay, go ahead, Koki. Go ahead. Sorry. No, real quickly. Do they have slutty jewelry for the, you know, the girls that are a little bit more promiscuous? Or? I mean, I, I don't know, I guess. I mean, I'm wearing some of it right now. I would say it's promiscuous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess it depends on what you wear it with. Um, but, yeah. It's definitely a classy box that she will love. It's all um, gold and silver plated. It's not going to rust. It's not going to go bad. Like a lot of these like jewelry companies. So I'm super excited. It's one of my passion projects. I'm super into fashion and accessorizing and, and helping guys. That's, like, what, we, huh? that's, what, I, that's what I say about 
that's what I say about my girl's box. It's classy. It's you know. It's, oh, Koki. It's good. So, Ariana, I have to warn you, we had our, in, our remote comedian uh, dialing in uh, on Below the Belt show, and uh, it's good that uh, he has a face for radio, so he's not showing, <laughs> he's not showing his face, but nonetheless, his views don't necessarily uh, reflect the rest of us here on Below the Belt Or anybody show. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Just he's, a fair warning. He's calling in from a, a cricket phone, so if it cuts off, then you know why. Yeah. But Irene, I was curious, how does the technology work when you say you select either edgy or traditional or whatever? Does it go through like a recommendation system or some kind of like keyword thing? How does the technology work? It has an algorithm. Um, the technology that we build into the website works with an algorithm. So if you say that she's a classic girl, it'll pull up all the jewelry that's considered classic and you're able to choose. And then you also go in and you say, you can send it one month can send it every month or you can send it five times a year so um yeah it's all it's all technology <laughs> so i'm actually checking out the website and i had a question for you so i'm married i got my wife she's a huge fan of big dangly earrings <laughs> what's that considered is that considered boho is that considered <laughs> edgy? I, that's that's me not knowing the nomenclature <laughs> yeah so we have earring options in each category. Okay. It definitely and definitely depends on just her style. So boho is like more of the girls that are like, I don't know, like granola girls that like to go and like worship the sun and stuff like that. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we have <laughs> classic girls who like re really like to dress up and wear dresses and all that. We have edgy girls that are more like leather jackets and like dark colors and Stuff like that. So cool. um, it just depends on her style. So this is you, like the company is what's curating and 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 sending the jewelry. It's not like I'm gonna pick something out on the website, and right. it's like a subscription. No, the company I I do it. I actually hand selected all the jewelry myself. Oh, and that's then rad. In categories, yeah. Oh, cool. That's oh, nice. You know, I also heard I also heard that the jewelry can be swapped with you know the 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 men. And they can put the jewelry on their testicles or their penis if they want to. Oh my god! Um, I haven't heard that. Sure, no. <laughs> I haven't heard that. Uh, no, I, I didn't. I didn't hear about that one. That's that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Koki, so, you're too so much. Is it, is it just jewelry, or are there other options too, like other kind of gifts? It's just jewelry. Just jewelry. Do you think you'll ever expand it to yeah. add in clothes, fashion, stuff like that? Uh, I've had the company up for two years now and i i tested it out with clothing and women are so picky when it comes to clothing okay yeah. ah. it fits the way it looks their style everyone has a different style so it was it was kind of a nightmare i was literally like packing boxes myself oh, wow. this office. then if somebody didn't like it i was exchanging mm -hmm. it. so i took out the fashion part of it um i definitely cool. want to revisit like beauty items and stuff i feel like all women love like skincare and beauty and makeup stuff. So um, maybe in the future for that. That's pretty Sweet. cool because I mean it's always hard to like yeah. think about what to get your girl. Like especially when it comes to jewelry and, and a lot of guys like or anybody's just so busy nowadays that um, they don't have time to go to the mall and try to shop and stuff. So yeah. it takes a lot of the guests. Who's going to the mall it. nowadays with COVID? Nobody's exactly. going to the mall now. Yeah. 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 Have you seen a Have you seen a spike now during COVID of of, of this service? Definitely online um, business is where it's at right now. Yeah, um, awesome. And like you said, like people can't, can't go shopping. This is a great way for even if, if it's yourself sending it to your girlfriend just to say, hey, I hope you're doing well, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's just a nice little gesture to make people happy. Um, yeah, and, and right now we have a 100% guarantee if you don't, if they're not satisfied with the box, the, you get your money back. So go and try it. Yes. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try it. We got our four year anniversary coming up next month. Oh, dude. Perfect. Perfect. So I, yes. might, uh, I might jump on this. Perfect. Please. I love it. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm checking out your Instagram, Ariani. 3.3 million followers. Holy smoke, lolies. That's amazing. Impressive. Uh, and, uh, and I love it that you, you're, you're doing the baby bump modeling photos. That's great. Um, looks amazing. These photos are amazing. I'm curious if, if your uh, significant other took some of these photos. Yeah, he actually took the ones that were on Us Weekly. He's an amazing photographer. He took those and 
very mm -hmm. really special even the ones of us two together we, we use like a tripod and uh he set up all the lighting and stuff so yeah those are really special i'm happy to finally be able to like share the news share the bump mm -hmm. it's almost Aww. like you know because before that it's all been from here up <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so how did the tailor sweep you off your feet he's because i pictured you with a fighter down the road well if you see him he looks like a fighter but like he's <laughs> 10 times bigger than a fighter and there you oh, go. Really? There you go. <laughs> yeah. he's, he he's can fight when he needs to yeah six five he's hawaiian he like he's just an amazing guy he's a he's you know how Hawaiians are. They have good hearts. They're oh, they're yeah. grounded. They're they're it's family people. So um, yeah, he's just you know how Hawaiians like... are. Yeah, <laughs> a ton of there's a ton of Hawaiians here in Baltimore. Ariana, I know you got some <laughs> Filipino blood in you as well, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. So there we go. Woo for the Filipinos in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the Filipinos and the Hawaiians are alike in a lot of ways. Yes. But damn, yes. do you have any single family members that look like her? <laughs> <laughs> I need to start coming to you. Start coming to your barbecues. Oh Lord, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so are you Filipino and Latina? What's the Latina side? Yeah, so Mexican, Native American, yeah. and Filipino. Yeah. I love that mix. That's a great mix. Apparently, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Hashtag mixed in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so do you miss the hosting stuff? Because you, I mean, you did great on uh, Guy Code on MTV. And of course, Velocity's overhauling. Watch some of the YouTube clips of that. Um, uh, any, any other projects in the hosting uh, realm? I definitely want to revisit that. Um, yeah. Right now, because of pandemic, Things are so slow as far as like auditioning and everything. So right. hopefully, hopefully that comes back at some point. <laughs> you know. But we'll ideal, see. ideally, hosting is kind of where it's at for you. Yeah, I love being on camera. I love um, narrating stories and and that whole thing. Like I said, I'm not a good actress, so I'm I don't want to be acting like anybody else. But being right. to be myself and just talk about things um, is cool with me. I feel comfortable with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Awesome, nope. awesome. Yeah. Um, I guess um, with MTV's Guy Code, I thought it was great because it just, it was a great show because of the perspective of both men and women and just all different types of people and different celebrities and stuff like that. I would love to see that show return. Yeah. So we're actually doing something similar, I think. Um, yeah. Not as like funny, but, but, but maybe we should um, for Girlfriend Box because it is like something for a guy to like, remember to always you know make your girl feel special so we're talking we're getting influencers uh, together for zoom meetings and we're talking everything about relationships like how to oh, cool. yeah how to keep the spice alive um anybody can just write in their questions and we'll we'll answer them on the live zoom and then whoever can't tune in we do uh we replay it on our youtube so we just started that, and it was really fun um, last week. So we'll be doing it every month. Awesome. Throw out where, uh, the link for where we can find it on your official um, site? Girlfriendbox.com, yeah. On the, oh, go, go, oh, actually, directly on uh, girlfriendbox.com. Okay. Also on your YouTube page as well. You guys have a YouTube channel? Is it Girlfriend Box, or is it your YouTube channel? It's Girlfriend Box, yeah. Cool. Awesome. I see you Very guys have a 15% off um, special right now. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's but, like a double on the kind of thing, that website. Yes, it's 15% off right now. And like I said, if, if, she's not, if she's not happy with it, you get your money back and we will send her something. New. Cool. <laughs> love it. I love it. And uh, just a couple of awesome things I'm reading here. Um, you, you've done some great causes near and dear to your heart and also mine by serving underprivileged Filipino youth um, and supporting those affected by natural disasters, which I think is awesome. Also, fostering the adoptions of animals. Uh, tell us about your oh. animal, a, I guess, animal rescue advocacy, I guess. I mean, I love animals. Um, I love children. The SEPA Cares works with children who are underprivileged um, Filipinos. Um, any way I can help, really. I'm, I'm a softie when it comes to helping people. Yeah. And, and I selfishly, like, just love feeling 
good. <laughs> the the feeling that it, that ha that comes with with giving back. Um, so yeah, I also started a GoFundMe for the nurses in through this pandemic. Oh, that's fantastic! Wow. Very cool. I was able to raise, I think, six thousand dollars in in one month. So yes, for for awesome. masks and shields for for the nurses and the healthcare professionals on the front line through the pandemic. Yeah. So that's you're amazing. You have an amazing heart, Ariani. That's yeah. that's just yeah. so. Hopefully, it's it gets bad like that again. I really hope not. But... I know. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the first thing you want to do as soon as everything, uh, the whole pandemic's over? What, what's the first thing you want to do that you can't do right now, I guess? I want to go on vacation. <laughs> yes. Good <laughs> yes. Answer. Yeah, and not feel like that anxiety of, like, you know, the risk I of death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking for especially because of the UFC doing it for so long. I'm used yes. to oh, so like having to stay home. We've been doing a lot of like road trips and stuff, which which helps. But I'm yeah. like, I'm dying to get like on a plane, wake up, see the ocean, and just like just be on vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, but then on top of that, being pregnant, like I feel like a lot of people would be like, you know, think I'm irresponsible or something if I did that. So. We'll see. I guess right. no baby moon for me. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Mommy duty Ow. comes in September. So. <laughs> yeah. It's also my birthday, too. So, um, yeah. birthday, birthday month. So, that's a good month to be born. <laughs> I'm so awesome. Ar Ariani, thank you so much. You're amazing. And uh, you have this glow about you, which I think is. Is awesome. It's kind of like that, that, you know, the pregnant glow kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, but it's not the the fuzzing out of the background from the Skype. That's not that's not what's causing the glow. Yeah. Can we, um, can we see the Can we see the baby bump before you go? <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing sweats because this. That's fine. Like... That's okay. It's a Zoom meeting, so from the waist Aww. up. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. great. Oh. He's on his way. He's on his way. <laughs> oh wait, you said he. Yep. You said he. I didn't. No. She, still doesn't, she still doesn't know. <laughs> I thought you just revealed it here for us. <laughs> no, I, I don't know yet, but I definitely kind of want to have a boy first. Uh, I want two kids. So hopefully I get a girl, but I would love to have a boy first so that he can like protect. Watch his. out for her, yeah. And boys are more sturdy, you know, so if you drop them, they bounce back a little more. <laughs> yeah. Very possible. <laughs> I love it. Right, and, and the dad, you see, is like a big dude. So chances are, you know, you want a sturdy boy just to yeah. practice. Awesome. Yeah. Well, lots of luck with everything, uh, Ariani, with Girlfriend Box, the upcoming baby. Um, we're excited to see you back in UFC whenever that happens, which I can imagine will be a while because you got to have some baby time, mommy baby time, which I totally understand. But we can't wait to see you back in the octagon. Um, that was one of the highlights for me. I love seeing you <laughs> on every UFC card. So, uh, Ariani, before we let you go, if you could let us know who you are, um, throw out a catchphrase, a plug uh, for Girlfriend Box if you'd like, uh, and then let us know you're on Below the Belt show. Okay. My name is Ariani Celeste, and go ahead and check out girlfriendbox.com for all your gifting needs. And you are watching Below the Belt. Yes. Awesome, awesome. All right, thanks so much for being a part of the show. Yeah, and good luck with the uh, pregnancy, and we're excited to come back on here when you had the baby. Aw. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.